Hey, welcome to Socialism for All. Today's date is August 22nd, 2020, and this is an audiobook of Stalin's The Peasantry as an Ally of the Working Class, a reply to comrades P.F. Boltnev, V.I. Efremov, and V.I. Ivlev. The source is Stalin's Works, Volume 8 from 1926, published by Foreign Languages Publishing House, Moscow, 1954, transcription by Brian Reed, and published online at the Marxists Internet Archive in 2008. That's Marxists.org, the source for most of the things that we read here on Socialism for All. So uh, many thanks to them. Now into the audiobook. I apologize for not having been able to reply to you sooner. I did not say anywhere in my speech that the working class needs the peasantry as an ally only at the present time. I did not say in that speech that after the victory of the revolution in one of the European countries, the alliance of the working class and the peasantry would be more superfluous in Russia. It seems to me that you have not read my speech at the Moscow conference very carefully. What is stated there is only that, quote, the peasantry is the only ally that can be of direct assistance to our revolution at this very moment, unquote. Does it follow from this that after a victorious revolution in Europe, the peasantry may become superfluous for the working class of our country? Of course not. You ask, quote, what will happen when the world revolution takes place, when the fourth ally, the peasantry, is no longer needed? How will it be looked upon then, unquote? In the first place, to say that, quote, after the world revolution, unquote, the peasantry will no longer be needed is untrue. It is untrue because, quote, after the world revolution, our economic constructive work should proceed with giant strides, and socialism cannot be built without the peasantry any more than the peasantry can extricate itself from its poverty without the proletariat. Consequently, far from weakening after a victorious revolution in the West, the alliance of the workers and peasants should grow stronger. Secondly, quote, after the world revolution, when our constructive work is intensified a hundredfold, the trend will be for the workers and peasants to disappear as two entirely different economic groups, to be converted into working people of the land and of the factories, that is, to become equal in economic status. And what does that mean? It means that the alliance of the workers and peasants will gradually be converted into a fusion, a complete union, into a single socialist society of former workers and former peasants, and later simply of working people of a socialist society. That is our view as regards the peasantry, quote, after the victory of the world revolution. The matter at issue in my speech was not how our party would look upon the peasantry in the future, but which of the four allies of the working class is its most direct ally and immediate assistant at the present moment, at the present juncture, when the capitalists in the West are to some extent beginning to recuperate. Why did I present the question in my speech precisely in this light? Because there are people in our party who, out of stupidity and folly, believe that the peasantry is not our ally. Whether it is a good or a bad thing that there are such people in our party is another matter, but the fact remains that there are. It was against such people that my speech was leveled, and I therefore pointed out that at the present juncture the peasantry is the most direct ally of the working class, and that those who sow distrust toward the peasantry may, without themselves realizing it, wreck the cause of our revolution. That is to say, they may wreck both the cause of the workers and the cause of the peasants. That is what I was talking about. It seems to me that you are somewhat offended at my calling the peasantry a not very firm ally, an ally not as reliable as the proletariat of the capitalistically developed countries. I see that you have taken offense at this, but am I not right? Must I not tell the truth bluntly? Is it not true that at the time of the Kolchak and Denikin invasions, the peasantry quite often vacillated, siding here with the workers and then then with the generals? And were there not plenty of peasant volunteers in Denikin's and Kolchak's armies? I am not blaming the peasants because their vacillations are due to their inadequate political understanding. But since I am a communist, I must tell the truth bluntly. That is what Lenin taught us. And the truth is that, at a difficult moment, when the workers were being hard-pressed by Kolchak and Denikin, the peasantry did not always display sufficient staunchness and firmness as an ally of the working class. Does this mean that we may wash our hands of the peasantry, as certain unwise comrades are doing now, 
who do not consider it an ally of the proletariat at all. No, to wash our hands of the peasantry would be to commit a crime against both the workers and the peasants. We shall do everything in our power to raise the political understanding of the peasants, to enlighten them, to bring them closer to the working class, the leader of our revolution. And we shall see to it that the peasantry becomes the ever firmer and ever more reliable ally of the proletariat in our country. And when the revolution breaks out in the West, the peasantry will become thoroughly firm and one of the most loyal allies of the working class in our country. That is how the attitude of the communists toward the peasantry as an ally of the working class should be understood. With comradely greetings, J. Stalin, February 9, 1926. There is one footnote. See Resolutions and Decisions of the CPSU Congresses, Conferences and Central Committee Plenums, Part 2, 1953, pages 73 to 82. And that footnote is in reference to the speech in general that Stalin is talking about saying that he uh, that that they, these comrades had misinterpreted his remarks. Okay, so that is the end of the audiobook. This was a short one. Thanks for listening. Um, who do you think that Stalin is talking about, or who do you know that Stalin is talking about in terms of people in the Communist Party um, who did not regard the peasantry as allies of the proletariat or working class? Um, I think he might be referring to Trotsky. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, any links you can drop uh, would be helpful for not just educating me, but for educating everyone and getting this discussion going. Okay, so thanks to our current patrons. We're now up to four patrons on Patreon. Uh, their names are on the screen. We appreciate that a lot. You can support us for as little as a dollar or two a month, all the way up to more than $100 a month if you so choose. The more support we get, all of it's very encouraging, but the more support that we get, the more time that I can devote to this. Um, running S4A does take a significant amount of time away from other things. The more support I get, the more time I can do it. I'd love to do this full time. I just can't afford to right now. Also, you can find us at facebook.com slash socialism for all. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video. All of that helps to boost this channel and to get more people to see it. All right. Thanks very much, and we'll catch you next time.